I traveled to Nashville, Tennessee to watch him record the biggest youth soccer tournament of the year, MLS Next Cup. With hundreds of MLS Next teams competing against one another, we had one of the best cups of all time. With unlimited talent throughout this entire tournament, I was given access to record finals inside Geodis Park. So make sure to watch till the end and subscribe for more youth soccer content. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoy. Y'all know what we on guys, we're here at the Airbnb in Nashville, Tennessee getting ready for MLS Next Cup Finals. If y'all didn't know, finals will be taking place in Geodis Park in Nashville, Tennessee. That is where Nashville Soccer Club play all their games, the MLS Next side. This is insane. You know your boy got the access, we're gonna record as many finals as we can. It's gonna be a great time. You know, the fact that we have the access, we can be wherever we want, it's gonna be an absolute vibe. So if you guys do end up liking this video, like, comment, subscribe, drop your score predictions, it's gonna be insane. I know where we are, so we just made it to Geodis Park. We're in the parking lot, you know, we're in the media area. It's like my second time having, you know, access to a professional stadium, you know, play the footage right now. I had access in the Mercedes Benz. It was insane. And life is just crazy right now. I'm so happy. Thank you. Absolutely crazy. Content's about to go crazy. Nashville Soccer Club play here. It's going to be a vibe. guys so about to get to where we need to be to shoot stadium's looking so fire the weather's absolutely beautiful it's not too hot i'm pretty locked in all right y'all so we just made it to the grounds got the cam set up as y'all can see got the field right behind us you know we got the bib on it's looking great i pulled up about 10 minutes into the u15 final la galaxy chicago as i was walking in galaxy scored they're up 1-0 Game's been looking crazy. Main game today, LA Galaxy Charlotte U17. That's the game that, you know, I'm gonna go crazy with. Your boy got Charlotte, Rocky, that's my guy. Nympha, they're cracked. That game is gonna be insane. Geodis Park looks so nice. Grass is good. You know, we got everything set up. Got the amazing access, this is great. everyone so from what y'all just saw chicago just scored a pen to equalize against galaxy the u15 final is currently 1-1 chicago have won la have won overall guys we get closer and closer look we have the most insane access big shout out to you guys without you guys none of this would have been possible so thank you for watching this right now things are going crazy so you know genuinely thank you so much can't thank anyone else but you guys so Let's get it. I just got the best POV of all time. That heart celebration, they ran right to me. Chicago were up 2-1. I'm like one of the only two photographers in this side. Everyone's on LA side and I, I had a feeling in my intuition that Chicago were gonna score. He made the player, passed the ball, dummy, fake to the corner. What a golazo. Chicago were up 2-1. 
I'm got, I got Chicago. Like, come on now. Chicago turning up. Jen, so from that footage, Chicago Fire are your U15 MLS Next Cup champs. Second half, Chicago were going crazy. Second goal, they went around the keeper. First goal, some great play. They win 3-1. Right now, I just got some photos done, but I'm at the U19 final. Cedar Stars versus Strikers. And Strikers are currently up 1-0. It's been a great time here, guys. Hope you guys are liking this video. If you are, like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friend. Thank you so much for watching. All right, ladies and gents, so we're here waiting and there is a weather delay. In the middle of Strikers and Cedar Stars, there was some lightning in the area, so the game got delayed. It's crazy. So until then, we're gonna edit, get some stuff out the way, and hopefully they get the game back on ASAP. guys so the weather delay was up and strikers just scored a banger they have about 10 minutes you know if they if they lock in for 10 minutes they're gonna win the u19 mls net cup championship drop a comment if you think cedar stars is gonna come back they have about seven to ten minutes so you never know what can happen Cedar Stars just pulled off the best comeback I've seen at this tourney. Last kick of the game, eight minutes into extra time, Cedar scored, oh my God. They scored to tie the game 2-2. I can't even speak. I'm literally shaking here in Geodas Park, guys. 2-2 and we're going to Pens. This video is gonna be filled with content. It's gonna be a long video. We're going to Pens, this is insane.
right, ladies and gentlemen, penalties versus Cedar Stars and Striker is over and Strikers take home the win. Strikers keeper went crazy. He saved two massive pens and Strikers win the game. Cedar Stars equalizing with the last touch of the game to take it to OT, to take it to pens. What a story. Cedar Star had a great run. They played till the end and you know, it doesn't matter how good or bad you are. When it comes to pens, anything could happen. But now we are waiting for the Charlotte LA Galaxy U17 final. It's gonna be a vibe. everyone so we just got some warm-up shots of nympha rocket the keepers and the game is about to get underway soon y'all know we here got the sideline axis charlotte versus la galaxy u17 mls next cup this is going to be insane We're getting closer and closer to kickoff. But when I'm looking, there's about eight minutes left and like I can't, I just can't wait. But yeah, guys, we're here. Got the great access. My score prediction, I'm going Charlotte 3-2. Let me know y'all's predictions in the comments right now. We got your team in the final again. Are they gonna choke or are they gonna win this time? Let me know. I'm being optimistic. I know we're comeback merchants. For this one, I'm calling it 3 1. All right, so we're here with a fan. You know, what we're saying about the game and predictions, my guy. I watched Galaxy and GA Cup, and they did really well. And I also saw Charlotte LAFC, so. I'm going to say they both have really good attacks, so I'm going okay, yeah. 3-2 Galaxy, but it'll probably be a tight game to the end, so we'll see. I think the game's going to be like either back and forth, but I think the game's going to be 2-1 Galaxy. spoke the words out of my mouth. LA Galaxy scored the first goal of the game. What a header by Ruben. What a header. He was facing away towards the goal. That's the definition of a striker's header. Games are pretty even. You know, both teams have been attacking. Charlotte has had some attacks, so have LA. But you know, LA get the first goal of the game.
guys, Galaxy, they're going crazy. Their center back just scored a beast header from a corner and they're up 2-0. Charlotte, uh, uh, it's not looking good. guys and just like that charlotte and galaxy's at halftime galaxy are up 3-0 they're absolutely dominating this game they're burying their chances charlotte has had some opportunities but they can't get their shot off overall so far you know it's been a great game three goals in one half is amazing you never know charlotte might make that comeback but in that guys make sure you guys watch till the end we have another half of great football ahead of you mls next cup 2024 has been an absolutely amazing experience. Let's go. No way guys, I just came up here to the top of the stadium because it started raining and it looks like they're delaying the game again. And this one, I'm not too sure if there's lightning, but it looks like it's just normal rain and they're gonna delay it again. That's so tough. I've been here almost all day. This is the second delay. You know, let's put our safety first, but we're about to be here all night. All right, everyone, so as we were waiting, the weather delay is now officially done. Let's get back onto the field. Galaxy. Galaxy just scored their fourth goal of the game. Great finish outside the box, great plays. They're just too good. LA Galaxy goal by number nine, Ruben Ramos Jr. That's a hat trick. Ruben just scored a hat trick. That's the definition of a striker at number nine. He's in the right place at the right time. Mans has a hat trick in the final. What we think of the game, my boy? Honestly, bro, I called it 3-1. It's 4-0 right now, bro. That's crazy. I, I even I couldn't predict that, bro. But honestly, bro, it should have been a traffic go. LAFC versus Galaxy. Watch out. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that boy Rocket Rita Rita just scored a rocket. This man blasted it near post. What a goal from the former Atlanta United player. Respectfully, we have a game in our hands now. There's about 30 minutes left and it's 4-1. If Charlotte can score again in the next like five minutes, the comeback is on. Let's see how it ends.
All right, ladies and gents, there's about two minutes left into the game, and the game's still 4-1. It's been a great game. Nothing else is really going to happen. LA are just passing around, wasting time. They, they played a great game. He's got to wait a couple more seconds for the game to end, and LA are going to be your champions. Galaxy take on Charlotte U17 final. We're here with Hattrick Hero. What were you and LA Galaxy doing to get ready? We wanted to really get the back to back. Since last year, we were all saying we want this, we want this back to back. We worked hard during the off season. We put in the work every day. And today, we gave it our all and we made it. You didn't score one goal or two, you scored a hat trick out of the four goals. Hattrick Hero, how does it feel, you know, scoring a hat trick, helping your team win, and overall, how does it feel being? the U17 top goal scorer. I mean, it feels good, but I just got to keep going, scoring more goals. That's my job, so I just got to keep going. Yeah, it feels good to score three goals, but it's not done. And the last question is, overall, how do you feel winning back-to-back -back champs? And, you know, how is the future looking like for yourself? Is this a confidence booster? Yeah, winning this with my teammates felt really good. We always wanted to go back-to-back -back with the over seven group. U15 year, we fell short semifinals, so it really felt good. Yeah, my performance was pretty good. I think I could have gave a little bit more, but, I got the job done. It's really a confidence boost, scoring more goals. I just gotta keep scoring, honestly. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Cup is 100% over. We got an interview with the U17 top goal scorer, Ruben, man's a baller, and it sounds like a hat trick wasn't even enough for him. But yeah, guys, we're here wrapping things up here in Nashville, Tennessee. What an event this was. If you guys end up liking this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this with all your homies. Let's blow this up. Thank you guys so much. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I'll catch y'all next time.